What's up everybody, it's Barry with BearIndependent.com and I wanted to make a quick video for you today about three reasons why I carry a tourniquet. Um, this is a Gen 7 cat tourniquet and it's the same tourniquet that we use in all of our kits here making bear facts, uh, which you can get at AdventureFrontier.com. All the blah, blah, blahs. Handmade in America, guaranteed forever. The best components, North American Rescue. Pouch by Sojourn Gear. Tremendous, believe me, believe me. The best stitching. Look at that, look at that. Anyway, why do I carry a tourniquet? Uh, the first reason I carry a tourniquet, and I mean in my EDC, not just on my war belt or my plate carrier or my chest rig. In my EDC either in my back pocket if I'm trying to look semi-decent or right now I'm wearing Marpat BDU pants. So in my left thigh pocket, why do I carry one of these? The first is because I always carry one of these. And so if I'm going to have a way, oh my, there we go, clean the lens and the light. If I'm gonna have a way to make holes, I need to have a way to plug holes. Now, a tourniquet doesn't plug holes, but it stems the flow of blood to the holes, okay? Assuming that we're talking about an extremity. And so, I think it's just really common sense that if you can't, that if you're going to have a weapon on you, a way to poke a hole in somebody else because they're behaving badly, there's a high probability that maybe they're trying to poke a hole in you. And if they are, wouldn't it be good to be able to stem the flow of blood? SWAT T's, is it? And these are cool. This is a SWAT T tourniquet. These are cool because uh, the stretch wrap and tuck tourniquet, they're flat, relatively flat. These fit great in a back pocket or in a side pocket or whatever. And you can also use these to make pressure dressings with. So that's the first reason. I might need it for me because I'm carrying a weapon. Um, and if I'm carrying a weapon, there's a possibility that somebody's trying to poke holes in me. The second reason is I might be someplace where somebody has poked a hole in you. Uh, a hole that the good Lord didn't give you. And you have, just a, a brief scientific aside, you have precisely the number of holes in you that you need. If you plug up any of those holes, you're probably gonna die. If you add any new holes, you're probably gonna die, okay? So you might find yourself in your situation, whether it's a uh, mass casualty incident or um, a motor vehicle accident. Yes, we have had one of our kids saved a life at an NVA and uh, because a guy had a compound fracture of his femur and the bone severed his femoral artery. And somebody with one of our kits ran up on him, was able to assess the situation, ran back to their vehicle, got their bear fac out, applied a cat tourniquet and saved the guy's life. That's super cool. Um, that's super cool. So I might be somewhere where you are and you have holes in you. Okay, so stemming the flow of blood with a tourniquet, good idea, right? Tourniquets save lives. This is a fact. The last reason of the three that I carry a tourniquet with me is this gives me an opportunity to teach and evangelize. Um, a lot of people are into EDC, everyday carry man, as they should be, because I think we are the first responders. If we are the first responders, shouldn't we have more than this on us? That's a great place to start, don't get me wrong. But having something like a, a SWAT T or a cat tourniquet or even the rats, if you're into the rats, or the soft T, or the soft T wide. There's a lot of good tourniquets out there. Just have one. Um, we are probably going to be required to deal with incidents that involve um, loss of blood much more often than we are involved in, being involved in incidents where we have to present our weapon. Okay? I know that's been true for me. So the likelihood that you're gonna use this is probably higher than the likelihood that you actually use your weapon. Praise the Father, that's good. Uh, so shouldn't you have one? Um, and so I get to talk with people about that as they're EDCing. 
Like, yeah, man, you got a tourniquet? Like, no, why would I carry a tourniquet? Aha, you might need it. Here's why, da-da-da-da-da, as I just explained. Also, recently, I found myself surrounded by a bunch of sweaty, stinky 13 and 14-year-old teenagers at a, a big school-wide event, and they were incredibly bored because we were all there up to four hours early. Uh, and so we all had to be in this one place at this one time, and they were bored, as one would do. And so I had a tourniquet in my pocket, and guess who got an impromptu stop the bleed class? Every one of those kids. And they actually got it. They actually got it. And it was, you know what? It was worth, you know, the 20 bucks to have a tourniquet in my pocket to be able to teach 14 kids, hey, here's what you do. I literally held a, an impromptu 40-ish minute long stop the bleed class and then was like, here, take a tourniquet. Y'all play with each other. It should be sized this way. It goes in between the wound and the blah, blah, blah. And it goes here and above this thing. And, and they had a blast. So those are the three reasons I carry a tourniquet. Because I might need it. If I'm carrying a weapon, there's a chance that somebody's trying to poke holes in me. I might need it. That's one. Two, you might need it. I might be responding to where you are, where you've already had a hole poked in you. Okay, and we are the first responders, taking nothing away from law enforcement, EMS, firefighters, but we're there first. I'm here first. I'm the first line of defense. Um, same reason one would carry a concealed carry weapon, because putting a cop on your hip is pretty difficult. You know, it's hard to carry a paramedic around in your back pocket, but you could at least move in that direction by having a tourniquet on you. And the last reason is so that I can evangelize and teach when opportunities present themselves and get other people on board to have this type of equipment on them because tourniquets actually save lives. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. Uh, if you're interested in acquiring any of our kits, you can get them at adventurefrontier.com. And um, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo down below. And I really don't, I would prefer it if you bought our kits, but I don't fault you if you don't. Just get a good kit, learn how to use it. Um, go find a Stop the Bleed class, uh, TCCC if you're into that. TCCC is a lot more involved than Stop the Bleed, but Stop the Bleed is a great place to start and um, carry this stuff and save a life. Shalom, y'all.